Hi guys, this is Kathy with the North Carolina Zoo coming to you for Wild About Nature. Today, we're going to make some easy ornaments. You can use them for ornaments or you could use them for keepsakes. It doesn't have to be tied in with any particular holiday or time of year. It's a really fun project. Not too messy, a little messy, but not bad. Um, simple ingredients. So the only thing we're going to need to make our mixture for these is flour, salt, and a little warm water. So I'm taking my recipe and cutting it in half just so I don't make a whole lot right now. So I'm first I'm going to use two cups of flour. So I'm going to measure out my flour into my mixing bowl. And I want, I'm actually going to cut that in half. <laughs> I'm going to use one cup of flour. So. All right, so that's one cup of flour. For that one cup of flour, I'm going to use a quarter cup of salt. Just plain old salt like you put in your salt shaker. All right. And then some warm water. You can just get it straight out of the tap, just run it warm, it feels warm to the touch. And I'm going to need about three-eighths of a cup of warm water. I'm going to try to estimate that here a little bit. Now I'm going to mix it up. If it's too dry, I can add just a tad bit more water. And if it's too wet, I can add a tad bit more flour. And you're going to get sort of a lumpy dough. Almost looks like you're mixing pizza dough. But trust me, with all that salt, it's not going to taste like pizza dough. All right. I think I underestimated my water a bit. That's OK. A little bit more. Mix it around so everything gets wet. So what you want is a, it's going to be a white dough with the consistency of play dough. So it's not going to stick to your hands, but it's going to hold together and you can form a ball out of it. I'm still a little lumpy. I add just a wee bit more warm water. Now I think we're getting there. Not quite so lumpy. Starting to look more like pizza dough. See how I can get it off the spoon. All right, so I'm going to take it. Now I'm going to start the kneading process. Take my white lump of dough. Just trying to mix in the rest of the ingredients there. All right. See? See how easy? Doesn't stick to my fingers. Feels like play dough. So pretty simple. While you're doing that, we're getting ready to make our, our ornaments or our shapes. What you may want to do, you've got a grown-up handy, because we're going to need to bake these in the oven. Kind of like making sugar cookies. And the oven needs to be preheated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So adult, please preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm kind of making like a big pancake here. I'm going to put it on, i got a silicone mat. You may have a mat you like to make your cookies on for my work surface. And I'm going to take my rolling pin. It's just a little, little wet, but that's all right. I'm going to roll it out nice and smooth, big, flat pancake. All right, so now you're going to take a cookie cutter 
And you know what? You don't have cookie cutters. You know what you can do is take a glass um, and take your glass jar upside down, put it in there. Old Tommy Days, that's how uh, old grandmas used to uh, make biscuits. Just use a glass. You don't have to have fancy cookie cutters. But if you happen to have some, and I pick them up at thrift stores because when I'm using them for crafts, it doesn't matter if I'm recycling somebody else's stuff. There we go. Just made a star. And it comes out pretty nicely. It's a pretty easy dough to work with. You can kind of work on your shapes. And put that on your cookie sheet for cooking. Now what you might want to do, got different members of your family. They're all superstars. Maybe you want to do a thumbprint. Or this is one we did at a workshop. Um, hey, you've got a pet in the house, a cat or a dog that may not mind putting their footprint. And so um, we had a big cookie cutter that was an overall shape of a paw. And then we had some um, learning tools that actually had, so it has the fox shape. So this is what a fox's foot imprint looks like. Note the uh, toenails. They can't draw in their claws. Your cat, it'll be a little smaller and tighter. No claw marks because they have retractable claws. So that's how if you want to do maybe your pet's paw print, or you could even do your, your hand print. My hand's really big for this. I'm just going to make a couple more stars. And then um, if Brooke here on the camera was to put her thumb print on there, we'll eat these super stars with our thumb prints. But you can also find some things in nature, um, like some uh, pine needles. Put them in there before you bake it. Sometimes it helps to kind of wet, wet it just a little bit before you stick them on there. And then, so when your uh, oven's heated up to your 300 degrees, you're going to need to cook them in there for about one hour. So set your timer for an hour, grown up. And remember to use your pot holders. And then after an hour, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get, this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. So this was a, a tree. Um, and it has a nice white color to it, just naturally. Um, and you can just leave it like that. And so it's a nice snowy white tree. Or you can paint it. I painted mine with acrylic craft paint because we're going to hang ours outside on our, our uh, tree and kid zone. But kid-friendly project, you probably want some washable paint and, you, and uh, for things that you're going to keep inside. You can do um, like holiday trees, or you could do um, fall trees and do them different colors. Um, you could do gingerbread people and make a garland with them, um, make them all, each one a different color. It's just endless, the possibilities. Once your paint's dried, then grown up may want to take some, some uh, polyacrylic, um, just a clear finish to, as a preservative. Do this outside, it does not smell nice. Um, and if you want to make it kid friendly for, the, for that, um, they can use some Mod Podge and just paint the Mod Podge on with like some uh, sponge applicators. And uh, don't forget, when you're putting them on the cookie sheet before you cook them, you want to need to take a straw or something like that. The spoon might do it. Straw works better. You have a little hole because if you want to hang your ornaments, you're going to need a hole in there so when it's done cooking, you can put your yarn, ribbon, string, whatever you got through there to hang it. So, there you go. Have fun making ornaments. Thanks.